y'all. I wanted to share my box opening with you guys. I ordered some tamales from Delia's in San Antonio. I ordered some from them last year also, almost a year ago now. They have the most excellent tamales ever. And here in North Carolina, you know, I've been here almost a year and I pretty much have not been able to find any really decent tamales. It's, it's, it's insane and it's upsetting. <laughs> so for the second time now, I have actually ordered tamales. This time I ordered, I think I got spicy chicken and then I got like a spicy, like a chicken in a spicy green uh, sauce or something like that. Um, they sent it two day FedEx, which was not cheap by the way. It was more, the shipping cost more than the tamales. Shipping is expensive these days, but Anyway, you get it. You get your tamales in this little cooler thing here. And they stay frozen, you know, for the couple of days that they're en route to you. The last time I ordered these, I didn't have any problem. And the tamales were delicious. I got two dozen this time. Last time I got four dozen. Took me forever to eat them. <laughs> I ended up having to share them with somebody. I didn't want to, but... I mean, I didn't have to. I could have just put them in the freezer. But, so this is how it's packaged. That's the cardboard in here. And you got to be careful because, oh yeah, this is frozen. This is a glacier ice pack. Another glacier ice pack. Still very cold. Y'all, my dogs are running around with squeaky toys. <laughs> and here are the tamales. Woo! couple more ice packs in here. This one's still frozen. So they ship your stuff to you very well packaged. Molly Wally Doodle, hush with the squeaky toy. Got my daughter's cute little dog here. I love her so much. Uh, let me get some of this styrofoam crap. I already washed my hands, so I'm good there. Okay. Actually, let me close this knife too pretty dangerous. But anyway, this is how they come. And, whoo, they're nice and cold. So I got two dozen here. This is chicken and cheese in a, in a spicy green sauce. And this one is spicy chicken. So I think I'm going to try the chicken and cheese and the green sauce first because I've had the spicy chicken. I'm going to put the other one in this bag, put it in the freezer. Yeah, I mean, again, they freeze very well for, actually for several months if you can keep them for that long. I'm going to drop one of these in my freezer real quick, down there like so. And I will let you guys know what they look like. Actually, let me get a paper, actually, let me get a paper towel real quick. Find off my counter, those ice packs. Uh, I have water on my counter now from the ice packs. Let me just get that off of there like that, like so. This is good eating right here. I'm telling you, for me to order these from San Antonio, which by the way, this one in the green sauce costs like $11.45 or something like that for a dozen. And the spicy chicken ones cost nine something they were almost ten dollars so i paid, basically paid like 20 21 dollars for these for two dozen and the shipping was like 40 ish i don't ex remember the exact number but it was a lot higher than it was last year and so this is what they look like oh my gosh total goodness and delia 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 they actually when you go there there's always this really long line, and when I went, they actually had police, like, directing the traffic or whatever. It's crazy. It's way worse than Chick-fil-A. <laughs> it's like Chick-fil-A line on steroids. So anyway, they come in this beautiful corn husk. Actually, I'm going to leave it in here while I warm it up. I'm going to eat two of these. So I have two here. Let me show you what 
dry my hands off. Get a little plate real quick, stick them in the microwave. I typically will mic microwave my stuff inside of a little bit of wax paper or something like that because it keeps wax paper. I mean, if you don't let it stay in there too long, it keeps your stuff from drying out and getting really, really, you know, hard and chewy, especially anything with a breading on it. So I'm going to lift these for, I'm just going to try 30 seconds. They're very cold, but they're not frozen. And the last time they were close to frozen, they frozen. So I'm going to give that 30 seconds. These are so, oh my gosh, they're so delicious. There's so much you can do with these. I think the last time I did a couple of stir fries, like with um, black beans and corn, I cut some of these up in there, you know, threw some cumin in there, some onions and stuff like that, cooked it on the stove or yeah, stir fried it on top of the stove. It was so incredibly good. But you got to have, I don't really think tamales are an acquired taste. They're just good, period. But if you've never had them before, I can see how you would be skeptical in trying them. Because I know some people who are kind of skeptical. 30 seconds didn't do it. I'm probably going to just nut these for another 30 seconds. So a minute. So if they're frozen, I think you probably need to, well, I don't know how long. They have instructions on their website on how to warm these up. Me, I just... Yeah, I stick it in the microwave until it's warm. But you can put cheese on top of them, chili, whatever. I like to just eat mine plain because they're just that good. They're so good. So a couple of friends of mine turned me on to Delia's. Um, Nareda. Nareda lives in Austin. And our friend MJ. Y'all go check out MJ and DT at, at Eat Up First. MJ turned me on. MJ and Nareda turned me on to this place. So this, let me take the paper off. I don't know, corn husks, is that, is that what that is? Well, these slide right out of the paper like that. And then what you have are two very wonderful, I see the steam coming off of there, so the, these are hot. Okay, thank you, Lord, for this wonderful tamale. Let me try it here. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wow. If I could cook like this, if I could make these, I would quit my day job because these are just that good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. 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 So worth it. It took me a couple of days to get these. I was outside yesterday looking for the package. I was like, wait, it's only been one day. But if you're anywhere near San Antonio, stop by Delia's, D-E-L-I-A apostrophe S, and get some of these tamales. And I think you can order them on the line. And I think they have another location somewhere. I'm not sure where, but their tamales are just so good. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Again, y'all go check out my friends MJ and DT. I wouldn't be surprised if MJ could make something like this. He's a very good cook. Um, y'all go order something from his channel, okay? Mm -mm -mm. Mm. His channel, MJ and DT. Their products eat up first. That's what it's called. They have really good stuff. All right, y'all. I'm actually on my lunch break. I got a few more minutes. I'm going to down the rest of this tamale. Mm, mm, mm. Half a cup of Starbucks. Get back to work. See y'all later.